All right, so we're back here with the uh, LQ4 and um, did a little arranging on the garage so I can fit everything in here. But uh, we'll walk around on the run stand since I haven't done this yet. As you see, it's very simple. Take the radiator on and off whenever I need to. There's also just leftovers that everybody's had me work on from diesel exhaust to everything else, anything you can think of. It's just leftover stuff or <clears throat> something that's been given to me. We're gonna try a cold start. Have yet to get it to idle on a cold start or even start on a cold start um, without giving it a lot. So let's see what she does. Oh baby, that's the best yet. Might have to blip the throttle a little bit to get that going complicated. We'll give it a shot. Hmm. It's really hard with one hand. Maybe I should invest in a camera mount or something ridiculous. Let's see. Let me try this. Oh, and I figured out the tack. Um, it was just a wire that I left loose. A like that. Don't intend on it being quite this loud in the truck. Although that would still be back pretty far under the bed. It resonated a lot in the cab. But uh, thanks Doc. This is a good, good bench class so far. She's not completely happy. But uh, this is way better than it's ever been. So, let's see what kind of voltage the alternator's putting out. Oh, she's struggling. There we go. That's that IAC working. Learning, learning again. Alternator's working good. Fuel pressure's good. Fuel pressure's always been like that. Every time I've done an LS on this using the aeromotive gauge, fuel pressure's always been low. You have to verify that. Maybe put another pump in there or something. Figure out why that's always like that. I don't completely understand it. Uh, maybe that's why I have such a rough idle because the computer only thinks it's seeing roughly 58 PSI. It has no way of actually measuring fuel pressure. It just assumes that it's automatically there. It's one downfall to using the factory GM computer. But um, other than that, things are going. I gotta clean off my parts cleaner uh, because on top of everything else, the transmission, which is uh, getting a lot of Sonex upgrades so it can handle this beast. Um, that's another project for the kids. 208 is over here by Dirty Station. And, um, that's going to get rebuilt. Uh, hopefully soon. But I need the parts washer for it, at least to make it easier on me. And, uh, that was free. Someone gave it to me, so I just put kerosene in it. Works awesome. Um, yeah. I hope y'all enjoy the rest of this. Have a great night. Happy New Year.